government corruption. We're all aware about this and it's a situation that we deal with almost, uh, I would say, on a daily basis. So there are a lot of problems in the education sector. I'm 100% sure na pagdating ng June, mag na naman kulang yung libro, kulang yung buildings. It would seem very awkward not to have any say at all, seeing all these government officials wasting public money. The only way for ordinary citizens to be able to get the services they deserve is to demand good governance from government officials. These corruption practices really make me feel frustrated. I really feel that it should not be part of doing business. As a small businessman, you deal with local governments. No? And sometimes they ask for some things no? before they give a permit. Last year, we have two branches in the same city. And one fire department assessed us for about 300 pesos in one branch. And the other fire department was asking for something that I didn't give him. And he assessed us for about 10,000 pesos for the same size of store, the same city, but different locations. So it's pretty absurd. No? So what I did was, I just paid the 10,000. I never give in to bribes. I, if I have to pay it, I have to pay it. I am contributing to helping fight corruption in the small way that I can. No? In the education sector, we have very limited resources. So it's very important that these limited resources are utilized well. So Check My School, what we do is a combination of that digital technology and the modern people power. So people report issues in our online platforms and what we try to do is compile them and then forward it to DepEd. We push DepEd to respond. They didn't respond, then we go to the media, but that's the worst case. Well, Check My School is basically working on before corruption happens. So because you have information provided, people, especially those who are planning to do corruption, they will get more conscious because you get information. So somehow it's easier for the people to trace if there's something going on which is not right. Years ago, I personally observe how local government officials use government vehicles, which we often refer to as red plates. They use them for personal reasons. Vehicle-related expenditure in local government chews up a big percentage of local government funds, which will translate into millions of pesos in the local government. And for a small city, this means a lot of money. So for ordinary citizens, Banta Red Plate is a way of asking government officials to pour in more money for social services. And these volunteer monitors monitor specific vehicles that were used by government officials in prohibited areas. And then once they are verified, we file a complaint and push for the immediate resolution of the problem. So we get officials who were fired, suspended. We also make a lot of enemies as well. Corruption is like an ember. If you fan it, it will grow hotter. No? So the way to fight it is not to be part of fanning the ember. It's actually easier to keep calm and just don't do anything. But being a young person, you get to tell yourself, no, I, I don't want this world to be the same world that my children will live in. Sooner or later, we need to have a story to tell to our kids that we have done something good for this country, that somehow I have done something good and something that would give them a better form of government in, in the generation to come.